Worried about getting lost in Italy? Well, there are worse things that could happen in life. But to help you find your way, I'll share with you everything you need to know about how to ask for directions and how to give directions in Italian. By the way, to help you practice, make sure you download your free PDF cheat sheet for this lesson. It includes all the vocabulary and examples that I'm going to share with you here today. Just click on the link in the description box below this video. Pronti? Are you ready? Iniziamo! Let's begin! Okay, first things first. How do you get someone's attention in Italian if you want to ask for directions? Now your approach sets the tone for any interaction. Starting things off with a polite Italian greeting like scusi or mi scusi or chiedo scusa is a great way to grab someone's attention. Now if you're keeping it casual, especially with a younger audience, you can just go with the informal scusa or scusami. And remember, Italians love their hand gestures, so a raised finger or a graceful hand wave can say a lot before you even speak. You can also candidly confess that you're lost by saying Mi sono perso. Persa. I'm lost. Ci siamo persi. Perse. We are lost. If you prefer to play it cool, you can go with Posso chiederle un'informazione? May I ask you for some information? Mi, ci potrebbe aiutare? Could you help me? Could you help us? For a more informal tone, you can say Posso chiederti un'informazione? Can I ask you for some information? Mi, ci potresti aiutare? Could you help me? Could you help us? Combining what we've learned, you can say Scusi, mi sono perso. Posso chiederle un'informazione? Excuse me, I'm lost. May I ask you for some information? Chiedo scusa. Ci potrebbe aiutare? I beg your pardon. Could you help us? Scusa, posso chiederti un'informazione? Excuse me, can I ask you for some information? Scusami, ci siamo persi. Ci potresti aiutare? Excuse me, we are lost. Could you help us? Now that you've successfully captured their attention, let's explore how to ask for directions. Remember, a warm smile and a polite manner can work wonders. So be sure to include a friendly per favore, meaning please, either before or after your question. The next step in this process is how to ask where something is in Italian. We have a few options, starting with Dov'è? Where is? Dove sono? Where are? Now these are the most basic phrases for asking directions in Italian. The construction is super simple, beginning with dove, where, followed by the verb essere, to be. is conjugated either in the third person singular, meaning is, or the plural form, are, depending on the noun that follows. Take a look at these examples. Dov'è il Duomo? Where is the cathedral? Dove sono i bagni pubblici? Where are the public restrooms? We can also use the phrases Dove si trova? Where is? Located. Dove si trovano? Where are? Located. Now this is another common expression for seeking directions in Italian. Now the structure and meaning are similar to the previous expression with the verb trovarsi, to be located. This is replacing essere, to be. Take a look at these examples. Dove si trova il teatro Ariston? Where is the Ariston Theatre located? Dove si trovano gli uffici comunali? Where are the municipal offices located? You can also say Dove posso trovare? Where can I find? Now this expression is slightly more formal and typically used when seeking recommendations. Take a look at these examples. Dove posso trovare un buon ristorante? Where can I find a good restaurant? Dove posso trovare un parcheggio sicuro da queste parti? Where can I find safe parking around here? You can also use the phrases C'è, qui vicino. Is there, near here? Ci sono, qui vicino. Are there, near here? Now these questions are typically used to inquire about specific services, 
businesses or stores in the area. Take a look at these examples. C'è un panettiere qui vicino? Is there a bakery near here? Ci sono dei negozi di souvenir qui vicino? Are there any souvenir shops nearby? You can also say Sto cercando I'm looking for With this expression, you're explaining what type of venue or service you're looking for in the sense that you're hoping to get some help with. Here are some examples. Sto cercando una farmacia. I'm looking for a pharmacy. Sto cercando una lavanderia. Può aiutarmi? I'm looking for a dry cleaner. Can you help me? Another option is to use the phrases Per To Per andare a To go to Now these questions can be used interchangeably and are quite handy when you have a specific destination in mind. Concise and effective, they're ideal for situations where you're in a hurry. Take a look at these examples. Per l'aeroporto? To the airport? Per andare all'hotel Excelsior? To go to the Excelsior Hotel? To learn more about how to ask questions in Italian, make sure you watch this video here. It explains everything you need to know. Are you enjoying this lesson? Don't let the learning stop here. Make sure you download your free PDF cheat sheet for this lesson, which you'll find a link to in the description below. Now let's move on to step three, which is learning the names of common points of interest. So now that you know how to reach out to someone for assistance, let's take a look at a list of popular destinations you might need to ask directions to. Il bagno pubblico. I bagni pubblici. The public restrooms. Il centro. The city center. Il duomo. The cathedral. Il museo. The museum. Il parco. The park. Il porto. The port. Il pronto soccorso. Emergency room. Accident and emergency. Il tabaccaio. The tobacconist. La chiesa. The church. La fermata dell'autobus. The bus stop. La piazza principale. The main square. La spiaggia. The beach. La stazione di polizia. The police station. La stazione degli autobus. The bus station. La stazione dei treni. The train station. La stazione della metropolitana. The metro station. Le scale. The stairs. L'aeroporto. The airport. L'ospedale. The hospital. L'ufficio postale. The post office. L'università. The university. Un agriturismo. The holiday farm or the holiday stay. Un ascensore. An elevator. Un bancomat. An ATM or cash machine. Un bar. A cafe. Un benzinaio. A gas station. Un centro commerciale. A shopping center or mall. Un hotel. A hotel. Un meccanico. A mechanic. Un medico. A doctor. Un negozio. Di scarpe, di vestiti. A shoe, clothes, shop. Un parcheggio. Parking, a parking spot. Un ristorante. A restaurant. Un supermercato. A supermarket. Un taxi. A taxi. Una banca. A bank. Una farmacia. A pharmacy. Una gelateria. An ice cream shop. Una lavanderia. A dry cleaner. Una panetteria. A bakery. Now let's start to combine the elements that we've learned so far so you can formulate questions to ask for directions in Italian. Starting with... Scusi, posso chiederle un'informazione? Dov'è la fermata della metro più vicina? Excuse me, may I ask you for some information? Where's the nearest metro station? Chiedo scusa, mi sono persa. Come posso arrivare al museo archeologico? I beg your pardon, I'm lost. How can I get to the archaeological museum? Scusa, ci potresti aiutare? Dov'è la stazione dei treni? Excuse me, can you help us? Where is the train station? Scusami, per l'hotel Eden? Excuse me, for the Eden Hotel? 
Now don't worry if it seems like there are too many words and phrases to remember. With a little practice, navigating Italian directions will become natural with practice. And hey, if you ever get lost in Italy and your memory fails you, just rely on the ultimate lifesaver. Just say, scusi or scusa, dove? Excuse me, where is? Lastly, remember that if you don't understand what the other person is saying to you, feel free to ask. Puoi, puoi ripetere, per favore? Can you repeat that, please? Ti, le spiace ripetere? Do you mind repeating? Now let's take a look at how to give directions in Italian. So you've asked the question and now a friendly passerby is kindly detailing the route to your desired destination. Let's break down how Italians typically give directions so you can follow instructions without any confusion. The first step is to look at useful verbs for giving directions in Italian. Take a look at this table. Andare. To go. Attraversare. To cross. Camminare. To walk. Cercare. To look for. Condurre. To lead. Continuare. To continue. Stare. To be located. Fare inversione. To make a U-turn. Girare. To turn. Guidare. To drive. Immettersi. To enter. Passare. To pass. Prendere. To take. Proseguire. To continue. Salire. To go up. Scendere. To go down. Superare. To go past. Svoltare. To turn. Tornare indietro. To turn around. Trovarsi. To be located or to be found. Volerci. To take. Next, let's delve into the practical application. Now, the imperative form stands out as the primary verb tense when giving directions in Italian. Now, there are two ways to use it. Now, Italians use the formal imperative in scenarios where the polite Italian form lei is required, typically in interactions with strangers. Now, this type of imperative uses the same form in the present subjunctive. Here are some examples. Vada dritto per circa 100 metri, poi prenda la prima strada a destra. Go straight ahead for about 100 meters, then take the first street on the right. Superi la chiesa sulla sinistra, poi, quando arriva alla rotonda, prenda la prima uscita. Go past the church on the left, then, upon reaching the roundabout, take the first exit. Conversely, they use the informal imperative when talking in a casual manner to someone they know well or who is younger. The imperative form is conjugated like the present indicative tense. Take a look at these examples. Cammina fino alla piazza, poi sali le scale e svolta a destra. Walk to the square and then climb the stairs and turn right. Guida per circa un chilometro. E quando arrivi all'incrocio, gira a sinistra e prosegui dritto fino all'edicola. Il museo è sulla destra. Drive for about a kilometer and when you reach the intersection, turn left and continue straight until you reach the newsstand. The museum is on the right. Now to learn or to brush up on your Italian tenses, make sure you watch this video here where I break down and explain every Italian tense. The next step is adding words of direction. Now, navigating through direction requires mastering essential Italian direction words with their prepositions. Think of them as your trusty GPS, guiding you towards your desired destination. Here is a comprehensive list of the most frequently used terms. A, due minuti, un'ora, etc. Da qui. It's two minutes, one hour, from here. A destra. To the right. A sinistra. To the left. Accanto a. Next to. Al centro. In the middle. All'angolo. At the corner. All'inizio di. At the beginning of. Alla fine di. At the end of. Da questo lato. On this side. Dall'altro lato. On the other side. Di fianco a. Next to. 
Di fronte a. Across from. Dietro a. Behind. Dietro l'angolo. Around the corner. Dopo. After. Fino a. Until or to. La. Li. There. Lontano. Far. Prima di. Before. Qui. Here. Sempre dritto. Straight ahead. Tra. Between. Troppo lontano per andare a piedi. It's too far to walk. Vicino a. Next to. You may also hear ordinal numbers such as primo, secondo, terzo, quarto, and quinto. Now they are all often used when navigating roundabouts or indicating which turn to take. Here are some examples. Il ristorante è a due minuti da qui. Alla fine di questa strada, gira a sinistra e lo trovi di fronte al parco. The restaurant is two minutes from here. At the end of this street, turn left. You'll find it across from the park. Vada sempre dritto e quando arriva al centro commerciale, prenda la prima strada a destra. Il museo è proprio di fianco alla chiesa. Go straight ahead and when you reach the shopping center, take the first street on the right. The museum is right next to the church. Lo stadio è nella zona nord della città. Ti conviene prendere la metro fino alla fermata Flaminio e poi il tram 2 fino al capolinea. The stadium is in the northern area of the city. It's best to take the metro to Flaminio station and then tram 2 to the terminus. How's it going so far? Don't worry about taking notes. I've done all the hard work for you. Make sure you download your free PDF cheat sheet for this lesson. You'll find a link to that in the description below this video. Okay, time for step three. Learning common Italian road names and traffic words. Now this is the last but most important step because it's useful to familiarize yourself with road and traffic vocabulary in Italian. People often use these words when telling you where to go. So it's handy to have them in your toolkit. Let's take a look. Il corso. The avenue. Il marciapiede. The sidewalk, the pavement. Il ponte. The bridge. Il semaforo. The traffic light. Il viale. The boulevard. Il vicolo. The alley. L'autostrada. The highway. L'incrocio. The intersection or the crossroads. La curva. The curve. La piazza. The square. La provinciale. The provincial or country road. La rotonda. The roundabout. La statale. The highway. La strada. The road. La strada principale. The main road. Le strisce pedonali. The crosswalk. La traversa. The cross street. La via. The street. La zona pedonale. The pedestrian zone. Lo stop. The stop sign. Una strada a senso unico. A one-way street. Una strada secondaria. A side road. Una strada sterrata. A dirt road. Now let's practice what you've learned with these example sentences. Take a look. Prenda la statale fino a vasto. Poi segua il viale che porta al centro città. Al secondo incrocio, giri a destra ed è arrivato. Take the state road to Vasto, then follow the avenue leading to the city centre. At the second intersection, turn right and you've arrived. Questa è una strada a senso unico. Devi fare inversione e tornare sulla strada principale. Poi, al semaforo, prosegui dritto. Dopodiché, immettiti sulla provinciale. This is a one-way street. You must do a U-turn and return to the main road. Then, at the traffic light, continue straight ahead and then enter the provincial road. Alla rotonda, prendi la terza uscita e prosegui fino al ponte. Lì, inizia una strada sterrata che conduce all'agriturismo. At the roundabout, take the third exit and continue until you reach the bridge. There, a dirt road begins, which leads to a country farm. Now, here are some useful Italian expressions for when you're not sure when someone asks you for directions. You can say... 
Mi dispiace, non lo so. I'm sorry, I don't know. Mi dispiace, non so come aiutarti. I'm sorry, I don't know how to help you. Informal. Mi dispiace, non so come aiutarla. I'm sorry, I don't know how to help you. Formal. Mi dispiace, non sono di qui. I'm sorry, I'm not from here. Mi dispiace, non sono di queste parti. I'm sorry, I'm not from around here. And to continue your learning and to help you practice everything you've learned here today, make sure you download your free PDF cheat sheet for this lesson. And you'll find a link to that in the description box below this video. If you enjoyed this lesson, then you'll love Intrepid Italian, my series of online self-paced video courses that break down everything you need to know about Italian using my unique 80-20 method. More details in the description below. Going on a trip to Italy? Make sure you watch this video here on Italian travel phrases. In the meantime, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications so you get an alert when I post more video lessons like this one. Until next time, un abbraccio, ciao!